We all wanna get our business ranked up as high as possible on the Google My Business three pack or on Google Maps. This is where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. This is where you are gonna get the most phone calls, the most customers, and book the most jobs possible. Now there's a lot of misinformation out there. You don't know exactly what to believe when it comes to ranking your Google business profile. So what I like to do is go to the resources that actually do research and find out what actually works and what doesn't. You can see with this chart right here that in 2021, after surveying several thousand agency owners, what they thought were the most important factors when it comes to ranking on local search or Google My Business, you'll see here at the top of the list, it says on page. Now, on page refers to your website. What can you do to your website and the pages of your website to make sure you have the best chance of ranking at the top of Google My Business? So let's jump in. I'm gonna give you some tips. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step easy tutorial so you can make changes on your website right now that'll help you get to the top of the rankings. First, let's look at this website by a client of mine. He's an electrician out of New York. And I wanna show you what we've done as far as the title tags. So on every website, if you look at the tab at the top here, and you hover your mouse over, you're gonna see a set of words. This is the first thing Google looks at when it crawls your website or when it visits your website. You wanna make sure that these words are things that people search for, not just your business name, okay? You wanna put searchable words and you wanna put your business name. Those searchable words are called keywords and that's a big term in the SEO world and I have a whole video dedicated just to keywords if you wanna check that out. But right now I just wanna give you the basics so you can make some changes starting now. So obviously one of the biggest things people search for in his area is electrician and then his city name. So that's what you wanna have first. And then of course it shows his business name so that you can match that up with the business name that is on your Google business profile. You can see right here on the business profile, we have a name that matches this. And if we jump back over to the website and we look at the title tag, the second part of that is the exact same business name. Now, where you go into your website program and make that change is different for all different website platforms. So if you hired someone to do the website for you, contact your web designer and have them make the changes for you. Now, if you built your own website, you'll need to get into that platform and either look around for something that says title tags or something very similar, or contact their support system and ask them how exactly you can change or edit the title tags. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about are headings. Sometimes these are called H1s or H2s, but what you wanna look for are the big headline words at the top of your website. So let's check out this chiropractor in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You can see that they've got the title tags taken care of, which we've already talked about, but in contrast to that, you also wanna have your keyword or words that people are gonna to use to search for your business. You also wanna have that in your heading right here. That's the second thing Google will look at when they're deciding what your website is about and what they want to rank you for. So you can see right here, Albuquerque Chiropractor. That's something that a lot of people are going to type into Google. So that is an excellent keyword to start with. Now you wanna make sure, like I said, that it's placed at the top of the home page. And you can add other words in there and you can massage it and you can change it up a little bit, but you wanna make sure that it's very obvious to Google that this is what you are all about and this is what you wanna rank for. Now, one way to decide what the best word is for you is go to your Google business profile on Google Maps and look and see what the category is. The category is a very important of ranking on Google Maps or Google My Business. You will have selected that category at the very beginning and I have a whole nother video specifically on categories that gives a list of all 4,000 categories that you can pick from when you first set your business up, but you can go in there and change that at any time and that will have a huge effect on your ranking. So if you notice that right here, chiropractor is the category that the business is using and you go over here and you see chiropractor is also in the headings that we talked about and it matches the category on the Google Business Profile, then you're on the right track. That is what you want to do. You want everything on the website to sync up with your Google Business Profile. Google will give you higher rankings if you do this. It's not hard, you only have to do it once. Real quick, before we move on, if you are not subscribed to my channel and you like what you've seen so far, please go and subscribe and like this video. That way when I come out with new videos on updates, tips, tricks, tutorials, you'll be ready to go and you'll have all the latest cutting edge information to make sure you get to the top and you stay to the top of Google My Business. Now let's talk about the physical address of your business. Now, I know if you're a service business or if you're a home-based business, 
you may not be showing your address, but you still wanna show the city and state at the very least. And a little tip here, I wanna make sure that you understand Google actually does give preference to people that actually show the address, even if it is a residential location. Now, there's a lot of controversy over this because a lot of times Google will say if it is home-based and you do not have people visiting your location, you should hide it. And if you're all about privacy, that's a good idea. But just keep in mind, the people that are showing their addresses will have a higher chance of ranking above you. It's not a black and white thing. You'll still see hidden addresses or home-based businesses that rank high, but usually that's because they've been there for a long time. But businesses that are just getting started or just getting started with the whole Google My Business ranking process will probably want to show their address. That's just a little tip after working for 12 years and working with hundreds of different local businesses. That's what my agency has found to be true. But let's look at an Italian restaurant in Las Vegas. Let's look at the first one here we have a Romy. Now, you can obviously see the address listed right here, especially for a retail or restaurant location. Anytime you have a, a business where people are going to go and visit, you wanna have that address showing, right? But let's look at the website and see how it matches up. So we jump over to their website and you can see, I don't see the address yet, but as I scroll down the page, there we go. They put the exact same address here, right there, as they have over here. Perfect, good job. Also wanna put it down in the footer so it appears on every single page. Now this is not only good for Google rankings, this is also good for people that want to come and visit your business. I don't know how many times I've looked at a restaurant website and if I didn't find that address within five seconds, I was gone on to the next one. I don't wanna to have to waste my energy trying to figure out where your business is located. Show me up front, make it super obvious. Google will love it and people will love it. You'll get more customers. Now, one of the big questions I get is, Joe, should I do my own website or should I hire a professional to do it for me? My answer to that is simple. Do you wanna take the time and learn all these principles and learn how to implement these principles correctly or would you rather just pay somebody else to do it so you can focus on your business? It doesn't matter as long as you understand the principles I've explained in this video and a lot of my other videos, then you're going to be fine. If you're going to do it yourself, I highly recommend you get a simple program like Wix to do the website yourself. The reason I recommend Wix is because they have great support, they've been around for a while, and they are getting easier and easier to use, and a lot of the stuff I'm explaining here is set up for you and helps you do this stuff automatically. Now, if you do go the route of hiring a company to do it for you, make sure that that company understands SEO principles or search engine optimization principles and local ranking with Google My Business or the Google Business Profile. If they don't, you might be in trouble or you might need to hire a different company or figure it out yourself. Save yourself the headache and find somebody that does it right the first time. If you wanna check out Wix.com, I have an affiliate link down in the description below and it'll take you over to the page. It'll give you the best deal and any specials they have going on right now. Now, like I said, if you like the information in this video, please subscribe to the channel so you can get all the latest and greatest information as I create this on a weekly basis. But I wanna take it a step further. I also have this Google My Business cheat sheet that you can download for free. This has everything you need to rank your business high on Google My Business plus some extra bonuses. So all you need to do is click on the link below and download this for free. You'll get instant access. This thing is awesome. This free cheat sheet could change your business. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with BigWestAcademy.com and I will see you in the next video.